All right, now for your next market update coming out of Las Vegas, we're going to dive into some niche advice. Randy Scott with Randy Scott Realty. Good to have you on the show, man. Thank you. Good to be here. All right, so we've already talked about the market a little bit. I want to get niche So let's talk about investors and how that market's doing out in Vegas. What say you? Sure. Sure, absolutely. Well, I'm, you know, a lot of people uh, that come to Las Vegas might think that, you know, there's some oversaturation. Prices have gone, you know, high, but, you know, we're still going higher. It is a, still a good market to, you know, enter into uh, both for, you know, either long term or short term. You know, we have homes in the way that we do things here at my, in my company. We, you know, it's a numbers game, but we like to uh, add additional rooms onto homes and uh, create value in that way. So we also there's, like, there's different ways that investors look at it, right? You, you mentioned the long, so buy, hold, rent. Then there's mm-hmm. the quick kind of fix up a, a beat down property, Rehab sell flip. it quickly. What you just described is somewhere in the middle, which... It's not just uh, put the lipstick on a pig. You're talking about actually rehabbing <laughs> homes, adding bedrooms. Talk a little bit more yeah. about that. It's pretty difficult for somebody to enter the market and think that they're going to buy a house at a discount and rehab it and just resell it for a profit. It's, it's hard. There's a lot of competition, but we have a, a different you know, and a unique take on that. And one of the things that we like to do is we don't necessarily need to purchase a home at a discount. Um, we can purchase a home that may be worth um, you know, a, a comparable price as the market will allow, but when you add a room or an addition to that home, then you're creating value. When you talk about the low inventory, high demand, the margins just aren't there. You guys are actually creating your own margins by upgrading exactly. the home and making adjustments. Yep, and it's either that or we're trying to create a market for our buyers, right? And and even if that strategy is not the exact strategy that they want to go, maybe their risk tolerance is a little bit lower, then let's you know put them into something that's going to make sense. Maybe that's a multi-unit or maybe it's a, a long-term lease and, lease and hold strategy, but there's still some great, great opportunities in this market. Let me switch gears. Up or down markets, there's always the Ds of real estate, the debt, the discharge, the divorce, Death. Right. These are all things that create potential sales of a home. Uh, I know yeah. that you can specialize in a lot of these things. One of the things we're going to talk about here with you today is when you go through the divorce, which I think is like 60% of marriages now, unfortunately. But a lot of times <laughs> it involves real estate. So how do we handle that situation? Well, it, it depends. I mean, you know, the, the first thing that somebody does, you know, wants to do after a divorce is not necessarily go looking for uh, to spend right. money to buy a house. But so, you know, we're kind of um, we take it a little bit of a different approach and we you know, we, we are here to consult them sort of like a, a life coach in a way. But we give them opportunities to get back on track and we really kind of hold their hand through the process of just really getting to be like out there again, you know, and, and know what to do, where to go, who to be meet and, and uh, where, to, where to be seen. And then eventually when the time is right, we'll know exactly what they are, um, you know, able to see themselves getting into and affording and we'll be able to put them into that exact home. Well, it's just really important. You know, the, there's, there's no shortage of realtors anywhere in the country, but to be a specialist at something, uh, especially like that, right? It's an emotional situation. There's a lot of right. money involved. And let's not forget, it, it was their home, right? So there's right. memories. So it's, it's tough, but when you have all of these resources that you do, it can be very helpful in a tough time. Last but not Absolutely. least, I know your team is growing. What's uh, on the horizon for you and your team? You know, it's, it's, uh, there's some exciting stuff going on. We have, uh, you know, right now, in Las Vegas, uh, the brokerage itself is growing extra. I mean, it's un- it's unbelievable the growth that we've had in the last few months, from five to 130. But you know, with my team, you're going to get something. Not only are you are going to get the advantages of having ownership in a company, you're going to get uh, stock. You're going to get the best marketing system you can you can you can get. You're going to get a data- database management system that's bar none the best in the market, and you're going to get hand holding until you're successful. That's important, man. 90, it's, it's a good place to go. 90 day success call. plan. Well, you continue to grow. Congratulations on all your success. Thanks for coming in here. Thank you. The market insight is always great, but when we get deep into a niche, very, very helpful. If you have questions about this stuff, you need advice, make sure you do connect with Randy. Thanks for coming on the American Dream. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, more of the show coming up next.